So it seems we're coming to an end of an era with uh, Nintendo and Super Mario. When I first saw this tweet from Nintendo this morning and it read the first thing, Charles Martinet, I was like, oh no, what's going on? And then just start going through it. I'm still scratching my head a little bit, but yeah, this is uh, interesting news. But Charles Martinet has been the original voice of Mario and Nintendo games for a long time. As far back as Super Mario 64, he actually got his start before then in trade shows doing like some interactive voice work for Mario. People would talk to like a 3D head type of thing back in like, I believe, 91 or so. But yeah, most people will know him from Super Mario 64. But they say Charles is now moving into the brand new role of Mario Ambassador. What the heck is a Mario Ambassador? If it, he's been the Mario Ambassador for over like, like 30 years now, man. With this transition, he will be stepping back from recording character voices for our games. But he'll continue to travel the world sharing the joy of Mario and interacting with you all. It's been an honor working with Charles to help bring Mario to life for so many years, and we want to thank and celebrate him. Please keep an eye out for a special video message from Miyamoto and Charles himself, which we will post at a future date. So I, I'm like really curious, you know, what, what's going on? Why is he like being pulled away from this role, right? Like he didn't just voice Mario. He voiced plenty of different roles. We'll look at all his roles in a second. But not too long ago, just a couple years ago, he, he was participating in like a Q&A, and he said, hey, I, I, I want to voice Mario till the day I die, right? Like, let's, let's not get it twisted. You know, Mario, he hasn't been full of dialogue. It's, you know, the wah wahoos and stuff like that, right? He, he hasn't been very deep anyway. Who's he being replaced by? There's already been like talks of uh, with Super Mario Wonder coming out that it seemed like they possibly changed the voice actor. I don't know, like, what is the direction Nintendo's going in with this? Is Mario going to be more dialogue-driven? Is he going to start speaking more? Because if not, like, I mean, we've heard Charles Martinet. Like, I remember he did a, a a little promo for GameStop when Super Mario Galaxy came out. I'll play a little bit of that in a second here. Uh, I remember getting that phone call. If you pre-ordered Super Mario Galaxy from GameStop... He like they had a pre-recorded message, not like he called your phone, but like a pre-recorded message where he talked in Mario's voice. And it's like, ah, if they needed Mario to, you know, do some dialogue. Yeah, like just listen to this real quick. Hi, I'm Charles Martinet, the voice of Mario, and you may know me a little better like this. Hello, it's me, Mario. Woohoo! And I'ma call you because I'm here at the GameStop where they telling me that you pre-ordered my newest and the greatest game. Super Mario Galaxy! Woohoo! It's an amazing game, and it's gonna be here tomorrow at your local GameStop. You can come and pick it up at the GameStop store where you originally reserve you copy. But yeah, I, I just, I really, I don't know. I mean, if they needed more dialogue, maybe, I mean, he's 67 years old. He's still, you know, down in it, ready to go. But what is this Mario Ambassador role, like, actually involved? What is he gonna be doing? He's going to be going around meet and greeting people, you know, going to conventions, going to, you know, whatever. I, I don't know. It just kind of seems crazy. What's really going on here? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess we could sit here and speculate for ages, but I wanted to look at his uh, his roles that he had in video games. Like he's been in movies, TV. He's done voice work um, and, and certain things. Dragon Ball Super. Uh, did the voice of Magenta in the English dub. Super Mario movie, he did Mario and Luigi's father, Giuseppe. And, uh, you know, so he's had, he's had a lot of voice work over the years in TV, movies, and then video games. Video games, his first credited role was Police Quest, open season. I'm not too familiar with that game, but he played a prostitute. He played Billy Bob, and he played a janitor. Okay. And then in a... Uh, 94, he did the announcer, the referee, and boxers in a Super Punch-Out. Mario teaches typing. Mario's Game Gallery. The heck is that? A DOS game for, uh, for DOS, Windows, and Macintosh. Okay. Interesting. But he has a long history here. Super Mario 64, Mario Bowser, vocal effects. Mario teaches typing, too. <laughs> the list goes on and on, but you see, you know, he played Mario, Luigi, and Mario, and Mario Kart 64, Mario Party, he played Mario, 
back in 98, Super Smash, he played Mario and Luigi, Mario Golf, Mario Luigi, Baby Mario, Wario, Metal Mario. He's played a lot of different voices, not just Mario. Then you get down here like Mario Party 3, he did Mario, Luigi, Wario, Waluigi, Super Mario Advance. He did a bunch of uh, voices as well. Very interesting, but like, what is his last credited role here? It, you know, you would imagine if, if, man, if he was replaced for Wonder, like, yeah, I don't think Wonder's on here. I, I, I scrolled through this earlier, but you see this long history of, of playing Mario, Luigi, Wario, Waluigi, the babies, stuff like that, and then little other roles and, and whatnot. So it's going to be interesting to see where Nintendo goes with this and what this actual ambassador role means. But let's, yeah, like the further you keep going in the early 2000s, it's it's just all Nintendo. Like it seemed like he wasn't doing much with any, like too many other companies anyway, with video games. He, a, a little bit here and there, but mostly Nintendo. Uh, he was in Elder Scrolls uh, Five. He was in Skyrim. Okay. Okay, he was getting a little, little side work here and there, but the majority was Nintendo, it looks like. Let's see, where else? Man, <laughs> just crazy, all these uh, Nintendo characters. He played uh, Mario, Luigi, and Luigi in Luigi's Mansion 3, but then his last uh, credited role, as far as video games go, is Dragon Ball Legends as Magenta, which he voiced in the uh, the English dub of the, the you know that Dragon Ball movie. But then the last Nintendo credited role so far, I don't know if this has been updated, but 2022, Mario Strikers Battle League, Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi, and then Mario uh, plus Rabbid Sparks of Hope, Mario and Luigi. So it's kind of like it comes, it's an end of an era here. He wanted to voice Mario till the day he dies. Maybe he's still going to be voicing Mario, but in like promotional materials as an ambassador it, it just kind of seems crazy i want to see what these uh these comments are off of nintendo's tweet here a lot of, a lot of people appreciative of them i've seen some people like hey you know it wasn't that big of a role it was a big role man it was a big role a lot of a lot of people growing up with mario over the years you know if you were a youngster in the the 90s super mario 64 and whatnot yeah that was the voice yeah you know a lot of times voice actors you know, especially something like this, like they may not become widely known, but a lot of us know Charles Martinet as the voice of Mario. So a lot of us are going to appreciate what he's done and are fans of him. He just seemed like a guy that he was very happy. I mean, I don't know him personally, but, you know, every time you've seen him out there in interviews and, and, and little little side things and whatnot, he always seemed so excited and appreciative of being the voice of uh, Mario, you know? So that, that was definitely cool. But yeah, curious to hear what you guys got to say. A lot, of, a lot of fans out there who have pictures where they've met him. I've never met him. Never had the opportunity to meet him. All I got was that phone call that one time from GameStop. But still, man, it's kind of sad to, to see it go down this way. But I'm curious. I mean, like I said, we could speculate why, what's the reason for this? What direction are they going in? But, you know, as long as he's still working with Nintendo, uh, hopefully things are good there. But, yeah, I want to hear what you guys got to say. Really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.